everybody, what is going on? It's Brian with you from the Game Coming, and we are playing some more Total War Warhammer 2, continuing with our Toon King campaign. And I think I decided I'm just gonna try simming this battle. We can just auto resolve it. And depending on what happens now, the question is, should I wait a turn? Do these guys bang down walls? Missile resistance, cause fear, charge, vanguard, construct, construct, disintegration. I don't think any of these guys tear down walls except you. Siege attacker, there you go. Yeah, so it's only him. So really, honestly, I think having a battering ram doesn't change anything, except we could attack, or the AI could attack from two different gates. Whatever, we're just gonna sim it. If we lose anything important, we can just rebuild, or we can just um, reload. All right, so we lost skeleton warriors, and we lost a uh, horseman, which aren't really that big of a deal. I mean, they were level three. Still, whatever. Whatever, I think we're fine with that. And I am gonna sack because I can't pass up 2,600 gold. Uh, okay, so we finished construction. No, 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 piss off. Whoa, whoa, what that, go away, ah! We're good, we're good. It like rotated and did all kinds of weird things and oh yeah, we're good, okay. So what we want is, I would like you guys to be in Entombed, but you can't, so that's fine. I would like for you to be in Entombed, but you can't, so you're just, both gonna sit here. Uh, should we merge? Nah. 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 I think we're fine there. We did gain 2600. So does that allow me to do anything? You still need three turns left. Sorry, eight turns left. So. Yeah. Yeah. We. Oh, yeah. We want to upgrade you. I thought I did that already. Huh. Maybe I didn't. I thought I did. Whatever, that's fine. So unassigned skill points. Cetra got uh, another level. Uh, we were waiting on that. So let's go ahead and give him melee and weapon strength. Yeah, 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 that's gonna be nice. And then this is our Tomb Prince. Um, We can actually give him more HP. Oh, we gained him, gave him more HP. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 hell yeah. Let's do this. So he is at 2400. This will put him at 25, so another 100 HP. I think that's fine. You can, oh, you can only pick one. Okay. So we can do leadership aura size. Basically, everyone's gonna be happier. Any unit standing will receive a leadership bonus. I have to do the leadership bonus. That makes him better in melee combat. I have to do the leadership effects. Cause we're rolling around with units that are just gonna disintegrate. And the thing is, as he gets better, okay, this is my thinking. Oh, we also want to get training too. But eventually everyone in his army is going to max out because of that training. Like we already have our archers at freaking rank five. <clears throat> our war sphinx is already maxed out as is our freaking carrions. So as his units max out, we're probably going to end up putting him in lower level armies that are probably going to have crappier units that are more likely to break. So, I actually feel like this is going to be really good, because we'll want him in those crappier armies. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm good with that. And then, we want to give you Doom and Darkness, please, definitely. Um, I also want to give you the upgrade to Winds of Magic, because our Winds of Magic seems to be pretty bad right now. Oh, crap. Did I need to build more troops with our, with our army, our third army? I don't know. Oh, well little too late now I wonder if he wants to piece me out probably but like I said we're still gonna take it on do I want to take it on or burn it down kind of feel like we should just raise the crap out of it I wanted to wait a turn because I want jars for our attack so I don't actually care about it. I should pause that because I actually don't care about their units I also don't really care about you so we're just gonna shut you off for now yeah, I don't really need to sit here and watch all of these dudes. Come, my lord, to signal to your people that Nehekara is truly an empire. Uh, obtain the following resources: marble, golden idols, and gemstones. I think we have one of those. Well, I know we have marble. So Ubishadi, we bumped up with our tech. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and bump up the Necro Sphinx, please. Did that cost gold? No, it's just time. It just takes three turns. Okay, 
Okay, okay. You have the option to build an extra unit of horsemen because we did just lose our horsemen. So, sure, we'll grab that. But we can actually move you out. So let's go ahead and... Oh, no, you still need one more turn. Wait, you're just building those guys. Ah, yeah, we can move you out. Let's move you over here. Because we're going to move you down to the pass. And then we're going to go build the horsemen. And then... Nope, 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 nope. You. But actually... Nah, because you're not giving me any more units. The only thing that's going to give me more units is Qatar in two turns. And we're going to be able to build more warriors. Also more archers. I don't think I really need more archers. Because we already have four, four, and then four. Right? Yeah. So we don't actually need more archers at this point. Okay. So let us use you and... Continue siege, because I want to take a quick look at the province. So he does have another one. It is the capital, though. And eventually, I think we do want it, right? Yeah, because we're going to want to move down there. So screw it. Let's grab it. I hate it, but sure, we'll grab the province. And we're just going to auto-resolve again. And you shouldn't be really pissed. But you shouldn't lose any units. We didn't. Cool. And we go on to... We're going to freaking occupy it. I really don't want to occupy it, but okay. So it is actually gaining happiness here. I would like to actually get it up to level 2 so I can do happy buildings here, but... All right, for now, you are all rank two. I think what I'd like to do is just get you guys gaining more HP. Actually, hold up. Might as well move you up here so we can get to the springs because I don't really want to stay where we're at. So let's get 50. And then we're going to put you on there. Go. I like how he calls himself the king. <laughs> the king of moves. Uh, okay, so do we want to spend any money right now? I think the answer is probably no. Are you, you're tier three now. Walls. Just give me garrison, so they don't actually give me any more units. We can go for more Ubishadi. I think, yeah. I think, yeah. I think we want more Ubishadi. Ubishati. Is that how you say it? Maybe. Ush, Ushbati. Yeah, Ushbati would be probably the closer pronunciation. Okay, um, the other thing we should probably take a quick look at is, do we have any heroes available? No, that's fine. Um, let's go next turn. We're out of money, we can't build anything, so sure. Now what do you want? You wanted me to join the war. Nah, nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. I like you queek and everything, but nah, I don't really want to fight. Oh God, I hope I don't have to fight Lizardmen. Oh, that's gonna be terrible. <laughs> I just need an army of constructs if we ever find ourselves fighting them. And you want me to join war against Knights of the Flame. They are way the heck over there, but you're only paying me 200 gold. So I'm gonna say no. If you were offering me like maybe a thousand gold, perhaps. 200, nah. Nah. Uh, we also need to see if we can piece that dude out. That's what I need to look at. Hi. He actually doesn't like me. No, he does. I don't know why I was giving me the negative face. Um, I don't think I care about you guys either. Let's go ahead and shut you off. Off. Okay. We're starting to see more of the map, so we're starting to see... Well, I want to turn him back on when we move over there to grab the book over there, but... For now, we're good. Um, okay, so first thing, let's talk to Dune Dude. Sand and stone. He will These piece me out. Um, you know what? Let's actually take a non-aggression and trade. We will eventually want to break this. But for now, we're going to move east, and that's going to take quite a bit of time. So you're going to pay me a ton of freaking money for this. Or not. Or not. He has no money right now. That's why. Wow. Huh. Well, he has no money, so sure, we'll take the trade agreement. 
Did that actually give me resources? So we are exporting, we're importing furs, we're exporting iron. Okay. Bumped down the sensitivity on my mic, mouse a little bit. Okay. Um, you know, I feel like that's too little. That's, whoa, that's way too little. You know, there we go. Yeah, this will be fine. Um, we still need to get the crown because we still need the grave port. We still need both of those. We need nine books. We need at least 250 jars. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this one. You need 250 jars for that. We need 300 jars for that. Uh, so we basically just need a lot of jars at this point. Um, how is our happiness here if we move out? Probably not good. Can I actually just move you into... Move you in here. You'll gain more HP being in the province. Do something like this. Yeah, you're actually losing happiness right now. I do like the fact that we can get more archers. You know what? We actually don't need this. We're going to destroy you and actually go for the archer building instead. And then we will move you up over here. And I think we are pretty much ready to go on our war. Except in one turn, we're going to be able to build more warriors. Which is probably something we want to wait for. So we're probably two turns away from actually wanting to declare war. And that's fine. Okay, as for money, we have 2300 right now. We are six turns away from getting that. So slowly but surely, we're getting there. I will go ahead then and spend the money to get a little more income per turn. Our income per turn is actually pretty nice. Um, not really anything else for us to do, so let's go next turn. He does have three armies. I think what we want to do is actually move in and attack this army on the outside. Just so we end up fighting both of his armies on the outside with all three of our armies and then if we can just destroy all his forces we'll be in a good spot i actually want you to go on fast speed please i don't need to watch it super slow-mo oh my coffee's really hot hi okay okay let's do this my turn please okay so we can now Oh, we can actually recruit these dudes. I didn't realize we actually had two good dudes open. Huh. Um, how are your archers? Really good. Your archers are crap. So I'm gonna do this real quick. Let's go ahead and trade your archer for yours. And then I wanna take Cetra and we're gonna boot you. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the archer unit. And then these are just spearmen. So, wow, dude. Unit rank 9, too. Nice. So, we do want to grab probably the legendary spearmen. We also can grab four more freaking warriors. So, let's boot three of these guys while we wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I want the legendary. Yes. And you still need a little more HP. We probably should actually put... Oh, your local's already been used. I forgot this is in the same province. Okay, well, it didn't matter. Um, Do we want to upgrade you then? Mausoleum, get you up. I think we do. Let's upgrade you. Get you to tier 3. And then we're going to have 3 tier 3 buildings. You still need 5 more turns. Uh, I don't think there's anything for us to do with trade at this point. Do we have, we have iron. We will eventually need exotic animals, but not necessarily anytime soon. We do want to find gemstones. So we can actually, mm, I wonder if we can trade with you for gemstones. Will you give me gemstones? You called? This is no. So we're probably gonna end up having to fight you even though we did just, <sighs> give a non-aggression pack, but that's a little bit further down. I really want to get our main guy his crown, but I'm just trying to get my main capital as large as possible. Because the thing is, I have to actually get it up to tier 3, which sucks. Oh, it's so bad, because it's like 
I want to do three different things at once, and I can't. He's actually getting a little scary, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> uh, I should come and take the Black Tower here eventually, too. So, Tomb King Faction performed Dune Kingdoms. All right. We also got our Tomb Sphinx better. All right. And then we might as well grab this. I don't think we have a War Sphinx. That was just... Is it a War Sphinx? Oh, it is a War Sphinx. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's good, then. Then what was the other one? Necro Sphinx. Oh, we actually don't have the Necro Sphinx. We have the War Sphinx. Eh, well. It's fine. It's fine. It didn't matter. Uh, unless, of course, we fight a battle here in the next three turns. Um, I'm actually going to grab Life Leeching so we can get Power Recharge right. And then we're going to go up to the top one. We want to put... I actually don't think I want the Spearman at all. So we're going to give you the Spearman. And I'm going to probably accept the Spearman back. We're going to say bye-bye. And we're going to go ahead and recruit you here. Because I want more melee units. That's only going to be like four melee units. Archers. We probably don't need two chariots and two horsemen. Archers. Actually, those are just regular horsemen. But they're Nakara, so they're a little bit better. Okay. Okay. And then the Ubishadi, which are melee. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think our army is going to be too thin. I think it's okay. So then, we can grab one more unit of archers. I don't think that's necessary. I would like to raid. What do we need? 50%? Can we get in there? No. So then, we will just put you right on the outside for now. And you know what? Let's actually stop you. Let's get you close, and then we'll recruit. And then get you here. And I think we're ready to go. Nope, he doesn't. So we're ready to move in and start killing. It's just going to take so long to grow. I feel like... Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get this to four. I'm going to take you to two, and I'm going to build a growth building there. Because I would like to get more growth. And the thing is, if we can get this, uh, what are we gaining? 95. The growth building gave us what? 30? So that's going to give me 30. If we get you to tier 3, then we can actually get another 20. Just so freaking slow. You know what I actually could do? And I didn't think about this. Why aren't we doing this? Why aren't we going plus 25 growth? Because we're making more money. Which isn't really necessary if... We're not growing quick enough, so if we can knock a couple turns out on that, that might actually be worth it. All right. I don't care about the Great Incantation. The only one I think I want is this one. But we need a hero action with the Necrotech hero. And we don't have a Necrotech yet, so. We could actually buy a Necrotech. And actually, what's probably going to happen is my experienced guy in our main army is probably going to become a necrotech like we'll end up putting him in a lower tier army or one of our other armies so that they level up and then we'll give him a necrotech so no i don't actually want non-aggression because we actually want to declare a war on you what do you want non-aggression sure yes please i want nothing to do with you for the time being okay Entropy. So we can lose jars and get reinforced tempo. So uh, construction costs. Or we damage buildings. I'll lose 40 jars. It's fine. We're gaining jars at a pretty okay rate. So I'm not too concerned. Um, I want to give you the next level of training, please. Get all our units maxed out as quick as possible. And we can actually move in and attack. But we want to declare war. So let's save before we declare war. Just so we don't screw something up. And he has a very tiny garrison here, right? It's not a great one. So I think we're going to be okay. So hey. What? I'm declaring war on you, that's what. So I would like to bring them in. Oh, he has a wog. Oh. 
That's what this was. This is his wog. It's not suffering attrition, so their fightiness must be fine. So screw it, let's do it. The wogs aren't that bad. That's why his strength isn't so good, because it's a wog. Okay, well, this might be a really bad idea, but I think we're gonna be fine. So we're gonna move you as close as we can get you. Here? I feel like that's not as close as I should be able to get you. And then we're gonna put you right here. And then we're gonna attack the wog. Let's rotate this camera. This is so freaking. Actually, can't get you over there anymore. Because these guys are there. This is so annoying. You know what? This is fine. This is fine. We're just going to spend a turn here moving. And I doubt he has lightning strike. If he moves to attack me, it's going to be three on one. So let's actually take you and move you back a little bit. Can I move you? Can I move Setra up front? I would love to move Setra up front. Ugh. Put you over here. Now can I get Setra going? Freaking small level land. Oh my god. All right, that's fine. All right, we're going to turn there. Let's see what happens. Um, We can grab another casket of souls. It doesn't help me right now. It might help me as soon as we um, start losing some units from this war, but right now, no. Population surplus in Ash River. We're at 22 minutes. Okay. So we're probably going to end it as soon as we fight a battle. Well, here's actually something. What if I just leave these two units here, cover this pass, and then attack the province to the north? He's actually going to run away. With both of his armies. And he took you over there. Arise, legions. You're not going to be able to take any of my provinces. So I'm actually thinking, let's just take both of these provinces right now. Because I can immediately just murder this. And that took quite a bit of damage. But I... Oof, 2,000 gold. I don't need the gold. We're going to occupy it. And then we're going to go ahead and just start merging these units. Yeah, because they're all level one. And then let's go ahead and just start rebuilding. Actually build two more Bashadi. Yeah, that's actually good for us. And then Setra, we're going to move down here. Because I would like to actually get these armies. Oh, he has a third army down there. Oof. That could be scary. So let's instead switch to ambush. And then I'm going to take you, and I'm going to move you up here and take this. And we're suffering obedient, um, issues. Wait, what? Oh, my. Ah, uh, because it has walls. All right. That's fine. We actually don't have anything, I think, that can break the walls, which is probably um, why the balance of power is so off. Okay, we're fine, though. He does have one army over here, but it's not going to be able to do much. I forgot they can actually go underground. So we may need to run unit back to protect. They might also be coming over here to Chaos Sabar, which could be a bit of an issue. I'm not really doing anything right now with you, and I don't think I want to spend any money on you. If they come and take it, they're probably not going to do much to it. God, is the freaking two wogs over here and two armies. I feel like they're going to do something. I feel like they're going to try moving into my territory. So I'm just going to go ahead and start moving back right now. Just in prep. So this is our brand new Tomb King. We still don't have any freaking items, which, yeah. Which is why we probably should be building. Using our jars to actually start building some. Just, yeah. I would rather get the units. 
And we're gonna get close. We should be getting close, so. Okay, let's see what they do. I actually didn't expect them just to run all their units away. But I also didn't know that they had another freaking wog and another army down to the south. So I guess they just want all their units together. We'll have to see. I would love it if he would actually come help me. I could order him to come help me, but I don't know if he's actually going to bring any units my way. What do you what do you want? I don't see where are you at. Uh, you want a non-aggression pack and you're going to pay me 200 gold. You're currently at war with the Dune Kingdoms and the Fallers of Nagash, who are my allies. So, and you're right in here. Eventually, I'm going to want to take you. He does have, he does, mm, we'll try. That's fine. I don't need, a, I don't need him right now. I don't need to fight him. It's not going to be anytime soon that I will be fighting him. Really don't like this little army. Okay, let's see where they go. They're going to move back. They moved back and attacked me. That was actually a very smart move. <laughs> uh, so we're probably going to immediately lose our army if we fight this battle. So we effed up pretty bad. Yeah. 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 Now it's. Mm. Mm. He did take his province back. Wounded, wounded. So I think actually what I want to do is. Man. Uh, I thought he would do something sneaky. I didn't actually think. I forgot that he was actually within range of our building. I should have left at least the king here. Okay. I think this is what we're going to do. I'm going to end up redoing the war. And I think I have a slightly different uh, order that I'm going to do it in. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take our main Cetra up to the top and actually beat down their walls since he should be able to win that battle pretty easily. And then we'll leave our two armies um, on that southern province instead. So we do actually need to declare war on him. And then we're going to move all our units there. So let's actually do this once again. You know what? I'm going to just call this an episode. And then I'm going to just set it back up. So we'll go in the same spot that we were. But anyways, hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, comment, share your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye.